Scientists have been clear for years. Two of Australia's World Heritage Sites are in danger. Climate change is damaging Australia's Great Barrier Reef, causing coral bleaching like this. And ancient forests like this one in Tasmania are at risk too, from fires, which rising temperatures make more likely. But neither Australia's reef nor its forests are mentioned in a new United Nations report looking at risks climate change poses to World Heritage Sites. In fact, there's no mention of Australia at all. That's because Australia's government objected to an early draft of the report which did include them, reference to, in particular, the Great Barrier Reef in a report provisionally titled Destinations at Risk could have a negative impact on tourism, the government said. It's a jaw-dropping revelation. It really was quite shocking because the government should be promoting science and promoting information about uh, the health of, of World Heritage treasures like the reef instead of trying to censor it in this way. Al Jazeera has seen the chapter on the Great Barrier Reef, which was dropped from the UNESCO report. Climate change, it says, is the primary long-term threat to the world's most extensive coral reef ecosystem. There's international concern, it says, that the reef's extraordinary biodiversity and natural beauty may lose its world heritage values. Australia's government says the report risked confusing people into thinking the Great Barrier Reef might be dropped as a UNESCO World Heritage Site. Australian politicians have lobbied hard and so far successfully against UNESCO putting the reef on its list of sites formerly in danger of losing their prestigious World Heritage status. Of course, there is an irony here. The revelation that Australia's government has effectively airbrushed concern about its World Heritage sites from a report about climate change means those sites and the dangers they face are getting a lot more attention than they otherwise would have done. Andrew Thomas, Al Jazeera, Sydney.